Okay, so a Pac-Man game with a button to click is not exactly exciting. So let's replace that button here, which you can click, with something that is our field, our game board for the Pac-Man game. So a custom component which you can draw where you will see a Pac-Man. Okay, so this is not much different from a J button. We just create our own class instead of J button. Let's call that game canvas. Okay, canvas equals new game canvas. And then we add this canvas to our frame. And we add that to the same place that we had added the button. So the border layout dot center like this. Make it final. Okay. Now this is not going to compile because we do not actually have a game canvas class. So we'll need to create that. New class, game canvas. Now this game canvas class is like the J button class. It's just that we create it instead of taking it from the library. So all the swing components, everything you want to show inside a frame in swing, somehow inherits from a superclass called J component. And the same we want to have for our game canvas. So we say the game canvas is just a special kind of component which will paint itself where we will see a Pac-Man and stuff like that. Let's compile this. It doesn't work because we first have to import Java X swing J component. This compiles. Everything compiles and we can run our program with our custom component and it looks pretty boring. The component essentially has no size here, we can't see anything, but if we make it bigger, we actually see our component. This big gray area, that's our component. It just doesn't draw anything there. So let's draw something. If you want a component to draw itself, you have to implement the paint component method. This method actually takes an argument uh, of class graphics, which is kind of like a paper and all the configuration of the paper. That's the thing which you'll use to create your visual representation to draw. This class is in package Java AWT. So we'll import this. Now here we can do whatever we want with this graphics. For example, we can draw a line and the coordinate system we use here in, a, in, in drawing any component, the top left corner of the component is coordinate 0, 0 and the bottom right corner, we would like to draw a line from top left to bottom right, the diagonal, the bottom right corner we can figure out by asking the component, well, how wide are you and how high are you? So this is going to draw a line from 0, 0 to width height of this component. Whenever paint component is called, we're going to check again how big are we right now and we're going to draw a diagonal that straddles our current size. The thing with painting is that we're not painting things once and that's it. We're not, we can't say when we are painting. We get called whenever the toolkit or the operating system needs us to paint ourselves. So this is a thing that's kind of on demand. You can't say, I want to paint now and you just call paint component. No. We'll see later how you can actually request to be called with paint component. But we are just implementing this method and we will be called whenever there is a need. Let's actually have a quick look. Let's check. So whenever we get called, we will see a statement on the console. Uh, moreover, we also want to show the thread that is executing pain component, which 
as you might expect after the last videos, is going to be the event dispatch thread because all the stuff happening in Swin, all, all the things coming from the toolkit like user events and such and requests to paint, that stuff executed by the event dispatch thread. So let's compile this, everything, and then run our application. And we again have a very boring frame, but if we resize it, you see that there is this nice black diagonal line which changes whenever we resize. Okay, so we actually are painting ourselves. And also, we saw here that the thread that was calling paint component always was the event dispatch thread. Now, maybe this is not the nicest thing to do here because we, we're actually we're painting, but initially when you're starting the program, we can't see our component. Why is that? Well, we need to provide our preferred size to the GUI toolkit, in particular to the layout manager. And we can do that by implementing a method public dimension get preferred size. This method here is going to be called, you can check when it's called, so we'll just print out something here get preferred size. This method will be called whenever the layout manager is trying to determine how big we would like to be. Okay, and we return a new dimension object and let's say we want to be 400 pixels wide and 300 pixels high. We'll need to import a dimension class, import java awt dimension, compile this, it compiles. Now when we're running our program, oops, when we're running our program then we should see that we automatically get a frame that's big enough to fit the label and our game canvas and our game canvas has nicely the right dimension. Moreover in the log over here you see that after creating the GUI the same thread was calling get preferred size to figure out how big this component this game canvas wants to be and later on it asked us to paint ourselves giving us a graphics object. Let's quickly check the game frame code again. So here we created the game canvas and then we added it into the frame using border layout center. So the border layout, layout manager, had to figure out where to put us, how big to make us in pixels. And for that, that layout manager actually asked us, that layout manager called get preferred size. And that all happened triggered by pack. Because if you pack a frame, the layout manager of the frame, in this case this border layout object here, is going to check all the components that sit inside the frame. It's asking every component, like the label, how big would you like to be, the game canvas, how big would you like to be, and then it adds up those sizes, makes the size of the frame the right size, and sizes the components inside. Okay, so let's run this again. We see the initial size is good and we can still resize it because we're just setting the preferred size. We're not saying that, oh, we cannot be bigger or smaller. We just say we would like to be as big as that initially and the user can then make us bigger or smaller. Let's change it a little bit because this is not particularly nice. First, I would like to refactor the code a little bit. I don't like creating a new dimension object here all the time when we're asked because we always ask, return the same thing. And also I don't like encoding constants in the middle of some method body. So let's create a private static final field that holds our preferred size. So preferred size equals and we put this here. like this. So if somebody wants to change some of those constants, they can find them at the top of our class. Now, we want to do something else here. Maybe we want to change the color of our line. The graphics class actually has methods to set the current color. And set color expects a color object and the color class has some constants defined for example blue. 
which refers to a color object representing the blue color. Also, we would like to actually first have a clear the background, and we can say g dot fill rectangle zero zero and actually the same here, which will fill the entire rectangle in the current color. And for that, we need to set the color to let's say color dot white. So what you should get is a white background. Every pixel of our component should be white. And on top of this, after we have filled everything in white, we're going to draw the diagonal line in blue. Oops, we need to import the color class. Java AWT color. Compile. Run. And we see we have a white background, we have a blue color, and when we're resizing thing, it repaints, get preferred size was called just a single time. Now let's see with the repainting, if we cover this window and we uncover it, does it actually call paint component? It doesn't. So in some operating systems it might, because the operating system may not remember what was on the screen here when we uncover it. In this operating system, the operating system caches the bitmap that's produced by this component and it just draws it again. The same when we move out of the screen to the bottom for example, and we move back up, it doesn't actually repaint. But if we resize the frame, we're going to repaint. Okay, now let's close this with actually having a little Pac-Man. So let's draw Pac-Man. Pac-Mans are yellow, set color color dot yellow uh, g dot draw arc and we want the pacman's top left corner to be at position 10 10 the pacman should be 50 by 50 pixels wide and the angle should go from let's say 20 and should be 320 degrees like this uh, maybe we want to have a black outline set color color dot black and the rest is the same. Compile this, run the application and we have a missing yellow because we say draw arc and not fill arc. Okay, first fill the yellow then draw a black arc on top of it. And here we go, we have a little Pac-Man sitting on top of our line.